Ladies and it gentlemen, dear tankers, welcome to Best Ops channel. Today we will look in Type 5 Heavy, High End Tank of Japanese Heavy Tanks Tech Tree. We will compare this tank to well known E100 Mouse, with side by side practice, and in detailed numbers. Because those three will be heaviest of heavy with release of 0910 batch, where lightest E100 weighs 130 tons, new type 5 heavy 150 tons, and mouse 190 tons. Speaking about it, it is hard to not notice that designers of the tank probably also worked on ships, what we can infer from the size of their work. Let's compare visually those three tanks by size. For front profile. Our type 5 heavy. Smallest E100. And even in size mouse. For side profile. Biggest type 5. Again smallest E100. And a bit smaller than type 5 the mouse. Next for rear. This back looks as weak as it is. Smallest E100. And impressive mouse. Then angled profile. Here we can see that shape of type 5 heavy, promote players to learn how to angle in right way. That tiny E100. And toughest mouse. For comparison of the statistics. Type 5 heavy got 100 hit points more than E100, but 200 less than mouse. Still all three can take decent amount of damage. Also all three have decent view range of 400 meters, and that can be easy maximized with decent crew. Lower we can see armor in millimeters, and those numbers look impressive on all three, but that we will find out in practice later on. Next we can see details of firepower section, type 5 heavy place itself somewhere in between with statistics, surprising here is penetration of gold rounds on type 5 four cannons on those vehicles. Again we see that type 5 stands in between, but with best penetration on standard armor piercing rounds, that 14 cm cannon will be winning on economy field. Lower in statistics. We see gun depression. And those values are high in overall, but in relation to height of type 5 and other two, it is not enough especially if someone hug to your side. After that we can see numbers, representing mobility of them with type 5 in between as earlier, still all three are very slow, but let's look at them in practice. Type 5 heavy in middle, E100 on left, and mouse on right. Notice that turret seem to turn slowest on type 5. In turning all three are extremely slow, with opposite to detailed statistics. Here the drivers did not have clutch braking nor off-road driving skills trained, but serious tankers would definitely want to get them. Type 5 heavy finish first, then E100. And last mouse. Then for acceleration. up to 20 km per hour all go head to head, that is with average acceleration, yet for mouse that is top speed, and other two maxing out right after it. Now for shooting at a mobile target. All have very high dispersion around 0.4, here watched frame to frame cannon kickback seems to be largest on type 5 heavy but aim time is definitely noticeable and compensate that. Shooting in move with locked turret. Dispersion is not interfering too much as for how slow all three are, and if economy is not your main concern, here tankers should try their luck at landing rounds on enemy. For armor practical testing, we are going to shoot in type 5 heavy just in a moment, with object 140 as for its fast shooting cannon not doing too much of damage once round get in. Landing rounds on front plates seems to be quite easy with their size. At least lower plate is thicker. Try 
front of turret can also be easily penetrated. The size of mantle is large but could be even larger. We didn't even scratch them. As we used to command a copula being weak spot. By side scraping type 5 heavy change odds a bit in its favor. Wish E100 would have such lower plate. Front plate still not enough angled. That one didn't go through. We didn't Here we see that sides are what we want enemy to shoot at. We didn't penetrate their armor. In a moment we will look at that new Japanese heavy tank tech tree. What may be interesting for those already having researched Japanese medium tanks. We didn't even scratch them. That is huge drawback, same as on E100, rounds in front will not only immobilize you but also always deliver damage. We didn't At least proper angled front plate and rounds ricochet. Even when angled, opponents have quite some place to put rounds in. That rear should have 150 mm thickness, but still shooting at large angle object 140 managed to penetrate it. Near to auto ricochet angle, rounds finally start to bounce. Question is who will shoot at that angle when having side exposed like that? For research tree we mentioned earlier. On low tiers we find some cannons already researched thanks from medium tank line. Also we find already here radio units for all tanks. Researching heavy tanks usually is nice activity in game. From middle to end tiers. We sadly don't see any more of guns or engines overlapping with medium tech tree. Without deeper analyze this tree will take longer to deal with. Summarizing pros and cons of type 5 heavy. For pros. Economy of casual gameplay, that cannon take nice chunk of enemy health and got decent penetration value so less of wasted rounds must have tank for those who like to be biggest on battlefield. User friendly for those who want to improve their gameplay, here it will be easy to see what work and what do not. Thickness of lower front plate, where majority of players shoot at it as they are used for it being weak spot. Turning speed of hull with that weight of tank, what allow tanker to move hull at sides giving opponent hard time at hitting those weak spots. For cons. Ship size dimensions making excellent practicing target from you, but even with design like such, you cannot sail in it. Probably lowest penetration power of gold rounds among tier 10 tanks. Getting shoot in front wheel not only immobilize you but also deal damage to you, what is main reason for why E100 underperform, and that bring us a question, will type 5 heavy game player look same? And size again, with so many bad players playing in SPG, shooting in easiest targets, and you, being artillery magnet. Thanks for watching and please let us know if you like it, also while here subscribe to stay tuned for more, or come and say hello to us on Facebook or Twitter. You may also notice those mini screens are clickable. Finally at the end some dose of humor. Through the pitch black night. The captain sees a light dead ahead on a collision course with his ship. He sends a signal, change your course 10 degrees east, 
The light signals back, change yours, 10 degrees west. Angry, the captain sends, I'm a navy captain. Change your course, sir. Comes the reply, I'm a seaman, second class, change your course, sir. Now the captain is furious. I'm a battleship. I'm not changing my course. There's one last reply. Lighthouse here. Your call. Thank you.